I was, I was pushed into drinking urine by Western medicine. So about three years ago, I was diagnosed with, with cancer, unfortunately, and, uh, and I did the chemo thing. And I, I knew there was a better way to heal myself than, than chemotherapy, but I didn't know how to approach it. So after I did the chemo, the doctor told me specifically, the Swedish doctor, she said, uh, we're sorry, the chemo uh, didn't work. And, and they said, we want to take uh, out your lymph nodes. I said, my lymph nodes? But I, I think I need those. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I need my lymph nodes. So that's when I did a urine fast. I fasted on my urine, my pee pee, for three weeks. Occasionally I would throw a green juice in there, but I mean, maybe every four days I'd have so, a green juice. So you cycle your urine. Everything that you were drinking was just your urine. Absolutely. And, and some water to get the loop going. So fasted on my urine for three weeks. Um, I felt really good. I felt like I felt like I had never been through chemotherapy. I, I I wasn't weak. I just I just felt awesome. And I did one more CAT scan, and the Swedish doctor said, "Whatever you did, it worked. We don't need to take out your lymph nodes." And I said, "Good. I wasn't going to give them to you anyway." The Western medicine in Sweden is initially the same it is here in the states, except in Sweden it's a little more strict because it's government ran, and you have no options. It's their way or the highway. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they, they bullied me into doing their protocol. And even though I think I paid a hundred bucks while over here it would have been 75,000. Right. <laughs> um, I think they look at me as like a number or an experiment. They have these chemo drugs that they buy that they have to distribute. They have to get them out to people. It's just the way it works over there. So, um, when, when, I, when, they, when the doctors told me that they wanna cut me open and take out my lymph nodes, they said, well, we wouldn't need to do the surgery if you would have done the chemo when we told you to because I was very resistant with the chemo and I didn't do it when they told me. I actually pushed it about three weeks, which I don't really think made a big difference. But I, I knew there was a better way, but it was really hard to figure out the holy grail of medicine. And urine is in fact the holy grail of medicine. There are stem cells in urine, uh, vitamins, hormones, nutrients, enzymes, etheric energy, you know, living energy, living bacteria that isn't bad for you. It's not poisonous, it's not going to kill you. I, after I, I, you know, initially uh, treated my cancer, afterwards I realized that I got to keep drinking my pee. Why would I stop now? It feels too good. It feels right. You know, if you feels eat It feels great. Yeah, it's true. I mean, if you eat a donut, you might feel kind of bad. You know, you have a Coca-Cola, you feel bad. You have a green juice, you feel good. You drink your urine, you feel good. You feel great. <laughs> it's